Uh, let's start with a thought experiment. Let's assume that you are blindfolded now and uh, you can't open your blindfolds. And can you, uh, can you just walk out of this center, uh, this lifelong institute outside and can you walk on the road? Can you go to your ho uh, hotel? Can you go to your uh, restaurant without even opening your eyes? I think we already know the obvious answer, right? That's not possible and the obvious answer is no. Until you have some superpowers and in that case, please don't be, please don't waste your time here. Just go and save humanity with pov poverty and hunger. So, hey everyone, uh, I'm Prabhan Shwatri and I'll be talking about uh, contextual app experiences. And uh, the thought experiment just, I, which I just proposed is, um, might seem naive and might, you might think you know the obvious answers. But uh, someone, something very close to you right now uh, feels like that. Uh, some, th that's, that's your phone right now. It, it knows your exact location, exact coordinates, but really doesn't understand the physical awareness of what you're doing, what you are really want to do, and what you think. So this, this is one way of thinking in uh, contextual apps. And let's, let's understand in a, it in a different way as well. So uh, contextual app experiences are also about user experiences. Uh, so uh, recently, many, there are many top uh, video streaming apps are, are coming up around the world. And these are few from India because India is, India, Indian market for this has grown a lot in the last few, uh, last 1.5 years. And uh, Netflix, the, great, like the, biggest, the, uh, the biggest company in this market, uh, is getting a lot of competition from the local apps as you can see these markets. And <laughs> this is because they have uh, got the local content and they understand the local market and they are, they are catering to their, their needs in different various languages. But Netflix has really cracked one thing which these uh, new, new companies are trying to understand. That is uh, creating a contextual uh, app experience. Let me, let me be, uh, explain it a bit, bit better. So let's, say, let's see, uh, this is my watch list right now. I, I, I mostly watch critically acclaimed content and uh, I don't watch every, every series or movie. And, but the <laughs> notifications I get are just like this and they are not really relevant not even remotely relevant to what I watch. So, so this, this kind of makes me disconnected to, my, uh, to, to things like, uh, to the app, I don't feel the connection with the app. So um, I'm, I'm just asking that, uh, can I get some co uh, context here? Because if you are sending me notifications which are not related to me, I won't even see it, I will just swipe, swipe it out. And Netflix has this thing that they really, uh, mostly they uh, push a notification to you until uh, it matches, uh, they, they won't send it until it matches with their, uh, with your uh, previous, previously watched shows or your watch list. And this is how I have felt. And even if you look at their social media, uh, their customer is, customer satisfaction is great. Like they, it's all over uh, the social media. So this is, this is one way. The another example is, this is uh, one SMS notification I got while I was flying from India to Singapore uh, a day before that. And my airline sent me a notification saying that uh, I should download this app, Jet Screen, so that uh, I can save myself from boredom while I'm uh, during the flight. This is a good experience telling your user customer that you can do this so that you can enjoy some media, some content on, on board. But let's think about it. Can we do this better? Because SMS is a, is a way old thing now. And won't it, will it not be better if I send a notification? Do, do you think? And uh, Will it not be better if I send it while I'm at the gates, uh, while the user at the is at the gates, and uh, an hour before boarding, while he's thinking about his journey, then he can decide whether he wants to download the app or not, right? So, how do you send a notification without the without the user having uh, the app? If the user doesn't have the app, you cannot push a notification to those users, right? There has to be a way. Let's like, it's a, it's an interesting problem, and let's think about it. And the easiest answer to this is beacons. So beacons are small Bluetooth devices. You can deploy it somewhere like physically and if someone is nearby. Uh, with, if you are using Eddystone URL, you can, uh, the beacon can transmit some data. Uh, in case of uh, Eddystone URL, it transmits a URL. Uh, so that the, in notification, the user sees a an URL and can visit that URL and get, get, uh, start the interaction. This is a jump, jump start way to uh, get the user on board. So, for example, uh, if there was a screening of Star Wars and that has some beacon and it's transmitting, transmitting the URL of their trailer, the user can interact with it and understand that the trailer, uh, 
can decide whether the uh, watching by watching the trailer that he is going to watch the movie or not and uh, the user can get such notifications so this is one way but uh, deploying beacons at a large scale at every location like at, at every theater or shopping mall it's quite a cumbersome task because the data you will be transmit transmitting the url you will be transmitting will change with time right because star wars uh, movie for example won't be there forever the movie will change so the url will change so the bet google came up with this better method uh, this is nearby connections it's an uh, peer peer to peer uh, uh, networking api that allows devices to interact with each other or uh, or the or with the objects uh, like beacons so uh, for, in, in a nutshell it's it lets you push a notification to users in a vicinity uh, who are connected who feel uh, whom with with you feel that uh, this notification is relevant and uh, they can it's a way to jump start the user to uh, get you get on board so uh, if you if you want to check whether you are opt uh, whether you have already on enrolled into the service or not because every android device has a nearby notification now and if you go to settings now and go uh, into google and uh, then you select nearby you can see that whether you uh, whether you want to opt in or opt out of the service this really gives the control to the user so this was this was about nearby notification and if you have been around since morning or if you are here by tomorrow you can you will be still getting these notification if you have opt in for the service uh, these are two uh, there will be two links coming up uh, one is uh, a direction to uh, an app uh, a restaurant discovery app and the other one is a website url so um, the the people uh, in the vicinity of that beacon will receive the this these two uh, urls um, i'm i'm actually using a beacon google's beacon dashboard to create these nearby uh, notifications so first we'll redir redirect you to a restaurant page on zomato app uh, restaurant discovery app and the second will take you to a website page which we are uh, a, a, sam a sample page where uh, of a project uh, which i'm working on so you can like really check it out if you haven't uh, seen this during uh, today you can check it out by tomorrow Uh, for the first thing, uh, I'm sending the uh, URL on a specific time so that uh, you don't get lunch notifications during dinner or like let's say breakfast. So it's it it will be around uh, in the afternoon. So this is this is a basic pretty uh, this is a basic uh, dashboard where you can add your beacons if you have beacons. The adding beacon process is actually uh, actually varies from manufacturer to manufacturer, but once you have added it. once it's there you can add metadata whether it's port, uh, portable or not beacon and then once the you have added the metadata you can create notification just like this it's that easy like even a non developer can do it so this is about beacons but uh nearby connection is not just about beacons it's more of a publish and subscribe service where one device can publish some messages and the other device can subscribe to those messages uh, for example uh some i don't know whether you have heard about it or not uh, pocket cast is a app where, which is about podcasts and it lets users its users to share their favorite podcast offline by using nearby connections so what they what they do is uh, one uh, device publishes the uh, a set of urls a set of uh, list of uh, podcasts to other uh, to in the, in the in the vicinity and the other device can read them and can show the show it to the user so this is just a, just a basic code uh, so another example you can try today right now if you want uh, is by going to this this link and i pre compiled a sample app by google uh, what it does is it converts your phone into a walkie talkie just using your bluetooth and holding your volume button you can talk to a random person or the device which which uh, it has get connected to so this is one way of um, creating nearby notification and uh, without without being app installed you can send notification you can uh, create contextual things let's say um, sending notification about for say event or uh, some talk you can you can use those things so uh, it's just not about uh, the beacons or uh, just the uh, the location because there are many things you you might consider like weather uh, let's say a user is going from office to home and you are sending the notification about a shopping uh, about about a shopping discount but that that won't be good if you are sending it during a rainy rainy day right 
the user won't uh, won't stop and uh, just go for a shopping just because they they are providing some discount you must send it send these notification when it's a sunny day and you feel like that the user will uh, will get do some shopping right so uh, google came up with this uh, awareness apis they introduced it uh, two years back but it's so it got public uh, everyone it's in public access now uh, in um, it came last year so what they do, what they are doing is they are including uh, five to, uh, six to seven uh, other context signals and location such as um, weather conditions you can know about the user's weather conditions so that you can uh, decide whether you are going to create a reaction to the uh, reaction on your app or not you can use uh, time you can use location you can use even use headphone whether the user is listening to some music or not for example uh, there's this super player uh, south american app what it does is uh, it lets it uh, if the user has already turned the server on uh, it automatically plays the workout playlist uh, the songs from the workout playlist so that uh, while the user is exercising or doing some workouts so it's kind of like related to the user so there are few things they are they are, uh, they have included into this it's a it's a unified api of 7 6 to 7 uh, contextual signals so first one first one is time so uh, i was recently uh, doing a similar app for a north american startup uh, what they were trying to do is uh, integrate this signal into one api but while doing this we faced few issues and the issues were first of all battery consumption so if you are trying to do it on your own a lot of like uh, services needs to be run in the background and the, it consumes a lot of battery and it also consumes ram and if it consumes ram and battery os might kill your app and if your app is killed you won't get that context data right and this is where google came in and uh, made their awareness api and made it easier for developers to create a uh, create a very dynamic very very easy uh, experience without uh, without letting user uh, getting worried about things like system uh, sy system battery or uh, or system ram so these are the few things uh, you can even check whether the user is walking or not and now now like uh, <coughs> you can also understand that user is driving or not if he's driving you don't want to uh, annoy the user with a lot of notification in the nearby area right so they they don't uh, they don't give a call back to your app if if um, it really doesn't uh, if it, it is not required so uh, they have divided this into two ways uh, to get uh, how, uh, to use it so first one is fh api where you set up a ge geofence it's similar to geofence api where you set up a geofence and uh, where you set a pre defined condition say whenever this happens let me let my app know so whenever that happens uh, you will your app will get a call back and you can decide how to react to that thing and the second one is snapshot api where you can access the snapshot or the the uh, condition these conditions on your own in the app uh, rather than getting a call back from the uh, from awareness apis so let's let's see a sample sample code how is it easy is it so uh, there's this problem uh, which i faced and i was trying this uh, awareness apis so whenever i'm going from my metro station to my home I, and i'm listening to music i always forget things uh, which i have to buy on the way and so i created a test app where uh, if i'm walking and if i have headphones on and uh, if i'm in the vicinity of that store it will just say hey do you want to buy something do you are you forgetting something so uh, how we are doing it uh, how i did this uh, was simple first i'm creating a walk fence in the first line walking fence it's just directs it just tries to detect whether the user is walking or not in the second line i'm trying to detect i'm sorry uh, i'm trying to detect a headphone uh, i'm i'm creating a headphone fence where i'm trying to detect whether the user has headphones on on or not in the third line i'm trying to integrate these two into one fence so that uh, it get e it gets easier for other uh, for uh, further in the third line i'm trying to uh, create an area around the store so it has uh, the user must be in the vicinity right so without that you cannot send it to every user so uh, in the in the fourth line is just the opening hours so this is also one condition you like you must uh, think before uh, while developing that a store might be closed so you you need to decide the store hours as well so that the geofence uh, the recall back is at the right moment not not every not every time so once once i have created these fences uh 
in the in the third last line uh, I, what i'm doing is integrating the first fence and la the last two fences into one so that i have a complete fence where the user is walking with headphones on near the store during its open hours and the, in the last two lines i'm just updating it and uh, registering it with the google awareness apis so in this condition if the user is walking around the store during uh, while while listening to songs and the store is open you your app will get a call back it doesn't matter whether your app is uh, is running or it's killed it really doesn't matter you your app will get a call back and you can decide what you what to do with it so uh, this is one way but uh, what if you want to access the data while the app is running so this is a snapshot api code as simple uh, this is much simpler than that uh, rather than creating fences you can just use one line code the first line code what it does is you can get the places data of the user uh, let's say with with the places type right let's say the user is at a restaurant so you can get the data where he is and uh, what type of um, establishment is that and the, in the second uh, second line uh, is just a simple code to get the weather conditions so let's say it's raining and in that case if i'm walking and I'm, it's raining i won't be buying it i won't the user won't be considering uh, even buying anything he the user wants to go from a to place to b place or, or to home right so you don't have to push notification or to create some interaction with that so uh, this is this is uh, this these are the few things you must be uh, how many of you have how many uh, of you have chromecast like you must have experienced that right so when you buy a chromecast uh, and you turn on the bluetooth it you get a notification saying let's set up your chromecast that's that's nearby notification that's that's how awareness apis are actually working so these are few companies which are also doing it and uh, i was involved with the north american startup who was doing a loyalty program what they were doing is whenever the whenever the user is around a restaurant or a shopping mall and uh, it's a it's a good to good time to shop or to have lunch or dinner they will give you offer not often offer notification these are silent notif notification so that you can decide whether you want to have lunch at a discounted price or at an offer let's say buy one get one on drinks so this is how they were trying to uh, do it and this actually makes the restaurant discovery or the establishment discovery a, a better experience and uh, like uh, trello also did this uh, while uh, while uh, using the awareness api in the in the initial stage what they did was uh, they enabled the user to share trello boards uh, offline they were just transmitting the link to the trello board so that the user in the vicinity can share it uh, together very easily without even having like without having uh, going online or whatever doing and uh, android tv remote uh, if you have android tv you must be knowing it because android tv remote works on this only like it gives you a pop up while you are at home saying hey do you want me to turn on the tv or like uh, do you want me to this show is there and other things so th in the in the world of increasing um, uh, increasing apps in the world where apps are uh, as are acting as a services where notification are just delivery platforms and it's less about user um, user opening your app it's more it's more of a like experience where you push your user to ask them to come to your app and have an interaction with the system have uh, have the user interactive uh, have the environment interactive so this the, hence we we need uh, contextual app experiences so that it's so that it's better for the user to have a better experience thank you so i'm um, open to questions if you have any As in, as in. Let's say I'm in a mall. I switched on that. And I don't want everybody to provide. Yeah. So uh, with with nearby notification or uh, this is a thing with the nearby notification. Nearby notification comes when you don't have the app. They are used when you don't have actually have the app. So you can actually mute those kind of, uh, those notifications. If you mute them and a lot of people are muting them, they will be marked as spam. And only HTTP S URLs are. allowed at the nearby notification and uh, so you can actually mute them and it makes a better user experience gives a control to the user as well any other questions no? all right cool well it will be online
so you 